the special hardware hash of the computer need to be captured and submitted to the Intune portal to classify a device as a Windows Autopilot self-deploying endpoint. This can be done via hardware provider or OEMs upload the hardware information of the purchased system into the Intune portal. This also can be done manually if you don't have an agreement with your hardware reseller or due to any reason you want to do it by yourself. I am Harry from tech24online.com and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will demonstrate that how to extract hardware hash using a simple batch file which I have already uploaded into the GitHub. You will find the link of the batch file into the description bar. Without spending more time, let's begin with demo. Firstly, let me talk about hardware hash. Hardware hash is basically a CSV file which contains the hardware information including the serial number of the machine, product ID and the actual hash. And also you can con you can also add some of the information like your procurement uh, PO number or something else so that you can automate uh, the information into the engine portal. The hash can be extracted using a PowerShell command, which is already available on docs.microsoft.com into the Intune uh, device enrollment section. So if you look, look at the screen, uh, there is a PowerShell command which contains the uh, execution policy disabled, unrestricted, and then there is an install uh, script, which is basically installing the Windows Autopilot uh, Intune PowerShell. And then we are running the get windows autopilot ps info and then we are providing the output file so because sometimes when you have a lot of systems and you want to capture the hardware hash quickly and if the systems are not built completely then it would be challenging for the admin just to simplify the process i have created a batch file which you can download from the github page i have already provided the link into the description bar and you can just copy the file into the usb drive you can plug the usb drive into the system so for the demo, I'm using the virtual machine. We'll find the link for the virtual machine hardware extraction as well as the laptop. So there is a just a, like the C or D drive difference. So basically in your virtual machine, the, the file can be copied into the E drive. And if you want to do it in the laptop, then the D drive would be the destination. So I've created the two different batch files to make it easier. Now I'm, I'm starting my virtual machine. This is the Windows 10 1904 build. I'm just booting up the system. At the same time, I will plug my USB into my, my system, my host machine from where I'm remoting the VMware. And I will mount the USB into the my guest OS. Now I'm on the location page and here I will press the Shift F10. Once I press the Shift F10, I will get the command prompt with the admin privileges. Here I need, I will go to the E drive. You'll find that exit step into the documentation as well. And I will uh, enter CD hardware ID. And then I will run the info.batch. So the, basically once I enter, it will execute a, a command prompt and then it will run a PowerShell in the back, backend automatically. So you don't need to run any other separate commands and then it will automatically create the csv file into the same folder for that machine and i think the command the, the hardware hash extraction has been done in backend and if i run the dir dir command here i will find my file already created so if you see uh, i'm on my host computer and i'm on my usb drive where is there a folder hbm so you'll find the similar sort of folder hw laptop or desktop when you run the uh, powershell when you run the batch file and uh, when i open the file you'll find the csv so this csv file contains all the hardware hash and the required information for windows autopilot enrollment i will do not modify this file i will say i will close it as le as it is if you like this episode of Intune series, hit the like button. Feel free to share and comment. If you want to stay tuned with our latest videos, do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.